yeah, 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 hand on fear, big Joe is here, today is October the 2nd, 2022, they got rid of September, these months are flying by, praying for the families in Florida, man, I'm not too far from Florida, I'm in South Georgia, skipped over us, we didn't get a damn lick of rain, or anything, just a little wind, anyways, I want to talk about the movie Jasmine Blues, that's on Netflix, very good movie, man. Very good movie. Tyler Perry produced it, directed it. What I took from the movie, man, is people will, uh, my opinion, a lot of people don't want to admit who they really are or whatever. And people tell them to do whatever to get to where they need to be. You know what I mean? Leanne Bucket. In the movie. She was black, but she uh she portrayed herself as being white. Her mother told her to. She made this rich rich white white guy or whatever and stuff. And she was fooling with uh Bayou. Black guy in the movie, black character in the movie. It was forbidden for a black guy to be dating. Seeing or even have sexual relations with a white woman. She loved him. She loved him. But his brother got in the way. A lot of stuff. Hate. Ultimately, got him killed by his own brother. Will Earl. The other character in the movie that's playing his brother to buy you. Bayou had to get out of town. Mother told him uh, he'll be killed. So he went with Will Earl with his brother. And with this guy. He was a good singer. His brother played played the instrument. Very good at it. But he can sing or whatever. He can stay off drugs or whatever. Bayou went and became successful. But his love was so strong for Leanne, which is Bucket. He wanted to go back and get her. You know what I mean? And he took his brother with him. The brother was already jealous of him. The brother told on him. Ultimately, they would have got him killed. They came and found him because he was uh, performing at his mother's house. Little juke joint, people had stopped coming or whatever. And he was trying to, you know, then draw the crowd back so his mother was um, start back making a little bit of money from the juke joint. Same thing that goes on in, on the real in the real world, man. People on jobs and stuff trying to be trying to portray something they're really not, just to fit in to get to where they need to be. Throw people under the bus, Uncle Tom's or whatever. You know how it goes. Not being real, trying to be something else, trying to portray themselves as something they're really not. But uh, ultimately. All combination of that stuff got him killed. His brother. Very good movie. Very good movie. I advise you to look at it. You know what I'm saying? You can take your own little cues from the movie or whatever, but that's what I got from it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to look at it again. I'm going to look at it again. But uh, I'm not on here doing movie reviews or whatever. I'm just trying to let people know whatever. Just looking at my channel. Stuff like that goes on in the real world, man. On jobs and real life. Well, a job is real life, but you know what I'm saying? Outside of a job. People don't really have your best interest at heart. Or they'll try to tell you to be something that you're not. You know what I'm saying? So you got to watch out for people like that. It might be your own brother, your cousins, nephews, or whatever and stuff. You gotta pay attention to stuff like that. Ultimately, people like that want to see you, you know what I'm saying, go down and have a downfall so they can have something to talk about, laugh at or whatever. And that stuff ain't cool. So you gotta wake up and realize who got your best interest at heart. Now you can't discuss everything with everybody because they'll use the stuff you tell them against you. Because people are not like they used to be, man. People don't look out for people like they used to and stuff. 
because they're trying to get to, get to the bag or whatever. They'll use whatever you say or do against you. Just like I, <laughs> I got fired from a job a few years ago, like three years ago almost, found a YouTube channel. And I told people on the job, I'm thinking about doing a YouTube channel, starting a YouTube channel. They'd be like, go, Joe, do it, do it. And ultimately, I did it. And guess what they did? They subscribed to my channel. You watch some of them, some of my videos. Mind you, I've been doing YouTube ever since like 2018. Well, 2019. Been doing it 20, since 2019. And uh, ultimately, they what got me fired. They showed some of my videos to management or whatever. And my videos are not offensive. Most of the time I'm cracking jokes or whatever and this and all the other. This lady, you know, be, people don't have your best interests at heart at all. And a lot of time it, it's your own people. It was people that look like me that ultimately got me fired. Family YouTube channel had nothing to do with the job. There's pure hate. The envy. That's why I got from the damn the movie. The same thing practically. This guy was damn jealous and envy of his own brother. He wanted the girl, I think. And then his brother was doing better than he was. His brother didn't drink, do drugs, anything. But, uh, the movie has a lot of good cues in it. It's a good movie, man. You pay attention to it, you'll learn a lot. It's basically telling you about real life, man. Real life. And uh, I advise you, if you didn't, haven't looked at it, look at it. It's on Netflix. Very good movie. So I'm just letting you know, man, people just watch out who you hang around, who you conversate with, who you tell your business to. Most of the time, the best to down to keep, keep it to yourself if you've got something going on. And if you want to tell them, tell God. You know what I mean? I'm not a big religious guy, but if you want to tell anybody, tell God. Or your mom or dad or something like that. Now, most people tell you, oh, oh, don't do that. Oh, they don't want to see you do good or, or do better than them. Anyways, man, today is Sunday, October the 2nd, 2022. Make sure you go to my channel and watch this video. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to cash out me, my cash out is in the description. Convoy, 1978, the movie. <laughs> oh, dollar sign first. Convoy, 1978. Anyways, man. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Yeah. What about them Bulldogs? They need to tighten up a little bit, even though they won yesterday. It should have been a blowout. If you won, that's all that really matters. And my Falcons won. So, pretty much it was a good weekend for me. And uh, like I said, man, praying for them people in Florida. You should too. And if you can do anything for them, do something. Send something down there to Florida. Help them people out because pretty much a lot of them people down in Florida, South Florida, West Florida, they lost it pretty much everything, man. So, anyways, man, enjoy your damn weekend, the rest of your weekend, this Sunday. And I am out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.